Yeah, I heard I heard you talking when I was listening to your Riptide thing this morning. I heard you talking about getting some sticks and hands and growing growing the game a little bit with some kids in, in the Manhattan area that had never played. Um, what's been your experience with that stuff? How did you kind of – were you in, like, the PE program there and were like, all right, we should add lacrosse to the curriculum? Um, so it's kind of just what was that process like for you to start introducing the sport to kids? And with kids that you've seen really excel in the sport, is there anything that, that stands out from what they're doing for kids that have made really great, really great progress? Yeah, so, um, you know, I'm in, I'm, like you said, I'm a PE teacher in Upper Manhattan, um, and it's predominantly Hispanic-speaking uh, area, so the kids have actually never even seen lacrosse before, so, um, you know, I, this is my third year teaching there, so when I got there, that was something that I wanted to bring to them, like, immediately. Um, so, you know, I had Warriors send me out a bunch of fiddlesticks um, and, and added it to my curriculum, um, and, you know, the principal was real supportive of it, and... And the kids love it. You know, they they have that that smile on their face when they're playing, and 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 it's something real cool that I could share with them and new. Um, you know, obviously a lot of games and sports that we do, um, the kids have seen before, but this is new and exciting for them. Um, so it's been pretty cool uh, to really see them get excited because you know on Long Island it's 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 very normal, and everyone is you know a lot of people play it, and everyone's used to seeing lacrosse sticks and. So the first time I brought him out, the kids are like, Mr. McArdle, like, what is that, a tennis racket? Like, they didn't even know what a lacrosse stick was. So um, being able to introduce the game to them has been uh, pretty awesome. But with kids that you've seen really take the sport on really well, is there anything that you specifically told them to do or just anything that they you see them doing that you think is the reason that they're having the success and sticking with it? Um it's kind of hard to tell because you know in 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 gym it's you know it's they get it two times a week so what I really notice is the more athletic students are the ones that kind of pick up the game a little quicker um but I think you know just having the stick in your hand as much as possible you know getting comfortable with that with that ball and the stick and you know being able to cradle and and catch and throw and you know things like that I think is is the main thing of of just keeping the stick in your hand as much as possible yeah, and I think uh, a good segue is just like I think this this summer has been the most uh, I've been educated on just the inclusion and the diversity of the sport that we're trying to focus on uh, being a predominantly white sport. And uh, I think growing up for me personally, I never really acknowledged it or noticed it and tried to make it a difference. But obviously, after this summer of speaking with Jules, guys like Ty Warner and them making that alliance and making us more aware uh, in towards of just including black athletes and people of diff different races. And I think that's, what's going to be great for this sport. Uh, so I guess in your experience, how have you sort of, uh, been a great teammate, uh, to possibly another black athlete or helped, uh, this sport grow and be more diverse? Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, first and foremost, it's, it's being supportive, you know, like listening, um, acknowledging, and then, you know, letting them, letting them know that you have their back. Um, you know, that they're not in this fight alone, um, that you're that you're there, you know, helping them, you know, you, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do my part and, you know, getting sticks in 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 some uh, some of these communities that, you know, don't don't have the uh, the privilege to be playing and, and growing up like like some of us did. So I think mainly, you know, just being supportive, letting them know that you have their back no matter what um, and you're always there for them, I think, is uh, is the main thing that that I could do at this point.